Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to 68 Fan. I'm George. This is Peyton. And uh, today we're going to be talking about baseball, specifically who will win the AL MVP and who will win the World Series. But first off, who, Peyton, who do you think will win the AL MVP? Um, I, think, I think Miguel Cabrera's got it again. Uh, you know, he'll do it two years in a row. Him and Chris Davis are pretty close, but I think Miguel Cabrera, he has more hits, uh, more, a higher batting average, and only seven fewer home runs. He's still in second for home runs. So I think he wins it with Chris Davis closely behind him. I disagree with you. I think Chris Davis will win it. He has 37 home runs before the all, went, by the time he got to the All-Star break. That's a lot. That's mo Most people shoot for that in an entire year, let alone half a season. What he's going to get after that, I think he's on pace for like 62. So, yeah, I think he will win the AL MVP. Now, who do you think will win the World Series? Um, I think the Detroit Tigers have it. Um, they've got um, Miguel Cabrera, like I said, MVP, um, Prince Fielder. They have five All-Stars. Um, Justin Verlander, uh, Max Scherzer, he's 13-1. and one. He's, he's been uh, outstanding this year. Um, they've also they've got a great bullpen, other starting pitchers. I think they've got it. Um, what about you? I'm going to say the Pirates. Last time, uh, last time I checked, they had the best record in the entire uh, league, in the entire NL, and um, they were leading their they're leading their division, and they have a great ballpark and a great line and a great pitching staff and a great closer. All right, they got all those. We have a caller. Uh, this should be John from Pittsburgh. <laughs> uh, how about the Braves this year? We're leading the division and they're not even healthy. So what, what can we see from them if they actually get healthy? They're, they're going to collapse, like, big time. Again? Again. Yeah, I don't, I don't see Braves being um, a World Series contender. Um, they just have too many uh, flaws in their lineup. Ju uh, BJ Upton and Dan Ugla, they, those guys are hitting under 200. So... In fact, that entire, in fact, that entire uh, division has so many flaws that the Marlins could actually come back and win this thing 22 <laughs> and a half down. Close. Mm -hmm. uh, Butters from South Park. Hi, guys. What about my Boston Red Sox? They have the best record in the league. How are you just ignoring them like that? Uh, um, I don't know. I, I just don't see Red Sox being any better than the Tigers. Um, I just, no, I don't see the Red Sox. They've overachieved, in my opinion. I think they're due for a collapse again. And, uh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 <Ain't no. laughs> uh, all right, uh, Chris from Long Island. Yeah, um, I think the Mets really have a good chance with this, you know, great new rookie pitcher. What do you guys think about him? I think he'll win Rookie of the Year. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, Matt Harvey, I don't think he is a rookie. Oh, um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he is very good. He's 24. Um, he's got a great career ahead of him, but this year is not the year for them. <laughs> All right, that's it. Hopefully our show will be canceled by tomorrow. <laughs>